SAP ERP landscape offers several types of user interfaces. There are legacy interfaces, and as organizations move to SAP S4 HANA, there are modern, sleek, browser-based interfaces. In this demo video, we will explore how to automate SAP Web GUI with UiPath. Legacy interfaces in SAP Web GUI can be identified by the Web GUI at the end of a URL. While modern SAP Web GUI interfaces are actually embedded within SAP Fiori and can be identified with the SAP UI tech hint equals GUI in the URL. So how does UiPath work with the SAP Web GUI interface? Well, as part of the UI automation activity package released in the latest version 2023.4, we introduced a new way of identifying the elements of SAP Web GUI. This method is more stable and reliable than any other automation solution. How does it work? Well, when a user indicates a specific element in SAP Web GUI, UiPath's driver technology generates an SAP Web ID. This Web ID is more robust than your standard web control and specifically indicates the unique SAP object. On the left-hand side of our screen, we have the Create Sales Order Transaction VA01 inside the legacy SAP Web GUI. And on the right-hand side, we have the same transaction, but in the modern Web GUI screen within SAP Fiori. In UiPath Studio, when you want to automate an application, simply choose a UI automation activity from our list of drag and drop activities and indicate the specific object. When indicating an object, you enter our selection screen mode where as you hover over different objects, they're identified by the screen box. If I choose the order type method, you'll notice that my SAP Web ID is identified. I can also choose a fuzzy version of this SAP Web ID, AI Computer Vision, which runs the screen through an AI model, and image-based automation. All four of these methods are actually used concurrently during runtime, but as we see by this target, the strict selector will work for us great. When automating SAP Web GUI, UiPath does not discriminate or distinguish between legacy or the modern interfaces. So, in order to create a automation for the modern interface, I can take my exact same code, paste it, and simply indicate the new browser. And just like that, I have two versions of the exact same code However, one will interact with the browser on the left for legacy SAP Web GUI, and one will interact with the browser on the right for the SAP Web GUI screens within Fiori. UiPath's approach to SAP Web GUI selectors ultimately makes the migration process from SAP ECC to SAP S4 HANA easy. If organizations are moving from SAP Web GUI to SAP Web GUI in Fiori, the selector and the process remains the same, so no change is needed when automating with UiPath. Compare this to legacy tools that had complex web control IDs that required dynamic selectors and the use of variables. UiPath's new UI automation is easier to understand than automatic with a simple click when indicating an object. In addition, for organizations that are moving from SAP WinGUI to SAP Web GUI in Fiori, although there are minor process changes, the selector change is actually very straightforward. You'll notice that the SAP WinGUI selector has an SAP ID as described here, and that same selector inside of SAP Web GUI will be the exact same, with the exception that there's a WND0 prefix at the beginning. I hope you enjoyed that quick tutorial on SAP Web GUI automation. Until next time, bye.